In today's project video, I'm going to be making this bench vise from scrap steel. So there are a couple of reasons as to why I've made a new bench vise instead of just buying a new one. I actually already have a bench vise and I use it in pretty much every project. It's a really cheap cast iron bench vise and it's pretty small and it's got quite a lot of clamping power but not really that much and sometimes when I'm doing sawing and things, it sometimes moves about and things slip out of it and also it spins around like this. This new bench vise that I've made is quite a lot larger and as you can see it's pretty much solid and nothing moves once I've got it tightened up and I think it's got quite a lot more clamping force. The main reason that I actually made this bench vise was because I've got a welder and I really needed to use a project to learn how to weld since in quite a few of my recent projects I've been using welding and some of the welds have been okay but when you first start welding pretty much all of the welds are absolutely terrible so I wanted to get out all of my bad welds on this project and my welds definitely improved as the project went along. This vise is entirely made from scrap steel that I just bought off eBay and found lying around in my workshop and this build was inspired by a build done quite a while ago by John Heiss and as usual I'll link that in the description down below. So let's get started and see how I made the bench vise. I firstly came up with a quick design and this design doesn't really have any sizing so I'm going to be making up the sizes as I go along. The screw which is going to be providing the compression for this clamp is going to be made from an M24 threaded rod and some M24 bolts. This isn't ideal since it's only a V thread and they're not great for vices like this, most vices use an Acme thread, but this thread is much easier and cheaper to get my hands on and I doubt I'm going to strip it since it's so coarse and big. Firstly the base plate was just cut out of some 6mm steel plate just using an angle grinder. I then cut off some pieces of mild steel flat bar which are going to form spaces which are going to make the nuts for the lead screw high enough. These spaces were then welded together to form one solid block of metal. The welder that I have is pretty much as cheap and simple as it gets. It's basically just an AC transformer which takes 240 volts and converts it down to around 30 volts with super high amperage. So then I started welding everything together, and there are a couple of reasons why my first welds were absolutely terrible. Obviously they were my first welds ever in my life, and welding's not really like anything else I've ever done, so they were obviously going to be pretty terrible because of that. And also I was using just really cheap stick electrodes that came with the welder, which was a really bad idea, since they were really thin gauge and they ran out really quickly before I could get the hang of using them. Another reason was I didn't realise that my arc welder had adjustable amperage and the amperage was actually set on really low, it was something like 40 amps which is way too low for the thickness of steel and welding rods that I was using. Anyway after a couple of hours of welding and grinding I managed to get these four blocks to stick together and they looked pretty strong and they're probably quite sturdy. I then welded that down securely onto the base plate right in the centre. Since this is a V-thread and not an Acme thread, I'm going to be using four different nuts to try and prevent the thread from stripping as I use it over time. I then welded all four nuts directly onto the top of the spacer that I just welded down. I took some 50 by 50 square steel tubing and cut the edge out of one side. I then used my design that I'd made earlier to draw out a template for the side profile of the vise, which I then cut out from some more 6mm steel, just using my angle grinder. I cut this piece out twice because it's going to go on either side of the vise. I clamped these pieces together while I was grinding them so that they'd both be exactly the same. I used some cheap 90 degree welding magnets to hold the side pieces in vertically as I welded them in place. At this point I still had my arc welder turned down a little bit too low and I didn't realise that I needed to turn it up a little bit, but I did get some new welding electrodes which were a lot nicer to weld with, so these welds are probably a little bit stronger. I marked and cut out another square of 6mm steel which was going to form the anvil section at the back of the vise which is going to cover over the end plate. This piece is going to join the two side pieces together and bridge the top gap. I tack welded it on both sides and then I turned it vertically and welded one side up completely. At this point I also realised that I needed to turn up the amperage on my arc welder and these welds from now on came out a lot nicer than the previous welds. 
I then continued to cut out and weld on various pieces of 6mm steel plate until the main structure of the vise was complete. And as I continued to get more and more practice welding, some of the weld beads started to look alright and I'm pretty sure that these welds at the end are much stronger than the ones I started off with. After I ground down all of the welds, the front part of the vise was complete. Once the front was complete, I could then start working on the jaws of the vise. I'm going to be making this just from some flat bar. I welded two pieces of the flat bar together and then ground off the weld beads to form one solid rectangle of metal. I then drilled two holes straight through the middle. Using a thread tap and a tapping wrench, I tapped these holes for an M6 thread. This piece is going to be positioned on the front of the vise and then I can attach on the jaw in front of it. I used my lathe to turn down some M6 bolts so that they had a countersunk head and then I used some metal files to create a groove in the middle that I can use a screwdriver to screw them up. I took another piece of flat bar and marked the holes and then drilled through with 6mm holes this time. I then deeply countersunk those holes so that then when I cut off these screws and then attach them into that piece, it lies flush. I marked on a cross hatching pattern and then used an angle grinder to cut some grooves into the metal. This is going to mean that the jaws of the vise have a little bit more grip. I welded the block of metal with the M6 threads inside it onto the front of the vise, which will allow me to attach the jaw onto it. Also, finally some of my welds are starting to look a lot nicer, which means that this project was definitely good for learning how to weld. Once that's been welded on, I can then use screws to attach the front jaw of the vise. I now need to make the other side of the vise, which is going to be the piece that moves in to crush all the stuff inside the vise. I cut off another length of 50 by 50 square steel tubing, and then use my angle grinder to cut out a slot so that it would fit over the lead screw. I then drilled a series of holes in the other side which the lead screw will be able to fit through in the middle and then used a screwdriver to remove the rest of the material. I welded that piece onto the other piece of square steel tubing that I cut out earlier so that then once it's done it will move in and out and be that jaw. I cut off the corner of the tube and then welded on another piece of the 6mm plate which will hopefully make the vise look a little bit better and give me a little bit more clearance on the jaws while I'm using it. I made another jaw identical to the first one and then welded it onto this side of the vise. Once the weld is cooled then you can see that as you push this side of the vise closed it will then clamp the jaws together. I then flipped the vise over and threaded on another M24 nut onto the lead screw. I then pushed the end of the lead screw through the hole in my moving jaw and threaded on yet another nut. I then tightened up the nut so that there was a little bit of clearance between the two nuts which the sheet metal can go in between. I welded the nut onto the lead screw so that it would never ever spin off the lead screw again. At a 90 degree angle I welded on another nut and this is what I'm going to be putting my Tommy bar through. For my Tommy bar I'm going to be using a piece of 22mm solid steel rod. At the moment the Tommy bar is way too long so I shorten it quite a lot, but even then it's still really long so that I get a lot of torque out of it. 
I put some weld beads on each end once it was clamped on so then it won't be able to slide out of the nut. There's quite a lot of excess M24 threaded rod coming out the back because I bought quite a long one so I chopped off all of the excess that I didn't need. I also applied some heavy grease onto all of the parts of the vise which is going to be moving so that it would hopefully slide more easily and it worked really nicely to free it up. So this is what the vise looks like when I'm using it and it works really nicely. As you can see I've just given it a little bit of a paint job, I just put some black metal paint on different areas of the vise which I think would improve the aesthetics a little bit. All in all this was a really fun project to make and it made me a lot better at welding and also I now have a really nice vise out of it. So thanks for watching, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you did please hit the like button down below and subscribe. If you want to catch early access to any of these videos consider helping support me on Patreon. And if you want to get regular updates on any of the projects that I'm making, you can follow me on Instagram.